My name is Anna and I have three kids. I have two daughters and my youngest um, is a boy. His name is Soren and he's six years old now. And he was, um, he has epilepsy. Our world was just turned upside down when he started having seizures, upside down and inside out, just completely, everything just felt so wrong. Um, and we didn't know what was causing it, um, which is something that I think a lot of us parents struggle with is wanting to know a reason why and searching for a reason why. Um, and lots of times there there isn't an answer to that. Um, for Chris and I as parents, it was just really hard to see him suffer and to struggle and to wake up in the hospital and not know how he got there and not know why his head hurt or, you know, why he had IVs in his arm. Um, that part was really hard. It was hard because we, we did have to be apart from our girls um, for a couple of extended periods of time. Um, and I had to do a lot of, you know, two day trips, like I told you down to Seattle and um, leave the girls behind. Um, we have a few times they came with us, but most of the time it was much easier to, to find a friend or a grandparent or somebody for them to stay with. Um, and so it was really hard to be apart. And it's also just very isolating. You feel like you're the only one in the world going through this. Um, and we now know that's not true, but, um, you know, within our small community, I don't know any other parents that are going through the same thing. And our daughters had a lot to learn too. And I think that they have learned a great deal of compassion through watching their brother go through what he's gone through, um, for people with epilepsy, but also just people with with any sort of medical condition um they're they've been very patient with him and very caring and i have a picture that that i'll always love and um i took it shortly after soren had had a tonic clonic seizure and he was recovering by sleeping and we had him set up on the couch where we could all keep an eye on him and his sisters each grabbed a book and are sitting on either side of him, just being there with him. Um, so really sweet to see. Almost every time that we traveled down to Seattle Children's Hospital, we needed to be there the night before the, the appointment because we had to do a fasting blood draw in the morning. And so to get all the way from the island where we live to Seattle Children's, which is about roughly a half day trip, maybe faster than that if you time it just right. Um, so we would always go the night before and so we always needed somewhere to stay and go do that fasting blood draw and then go to our appointment. And so it was pretty much a two day process every time we needed to go to an appointment being on a diet does make him stand out as being different. And um, and the kids are pretty aware of that, especially at preschool. Um, this year, they're all bringing their own snack because of COVID. Um, but last year, they would all, they would take turns, kids would take turns bringing snack. And so he always has to bring his own food. And, um, and we do our best to if we know that it's somebody's birthday and they're bringing cupcakes, that I'll make a keto cupcake for him to take so that he still feels like he's included and he's part of it. But he still knows that he's having his own special cupcake and he he knows that he's on the diet for seizures. And I actually think that it has made him feel a lot better. Um, and he is, very adamant about sticking to his diet, which is pretty incredible for a five year, well, he's he just turned six, but um, for being, you know, four or five and sticking to your diet 
um, his teacher told me that one day his one of his friends brought muffins for snack and she was passing them out to all the kids and she really wanted Soren to have a muffin and she kept putting it down at his place and he would just pick it up and move it to the side and put his snack in front of him and, uh, and, and didn't really make a big deal of it or anything, but just, you know, no, that's not for me. Um, and I'm so proud of him for knowing um, that he needs to stick to his diet and that it's important. And that even when something as tempting as a fresh blueberry muffin is put in front of him, that he still has the, the strength to say, nope, no, thank you.